Hey y'all, real short one today, but let properties of algebra is what it's called. And I have to be honest with you, I don't I don't think it's that horribly important to I mean I'm not I don't want to say it's not important to learn, but like it's better to learn the concepts than the names of things. But anyway, just be familiar with this kind of stuff. Just you know, you can look it up or whatever in your index or glossary in the back of your book if you need to look it up. But the commutative commutative property. Um, is basically this. It doesn't matter what order that you put things in, if you add them or if you multiply them. In other words, everybody knows that seven plus five is the same thing as five plus seven, okay? Everybody also knows that seven times five is exactly the same thing as five times seven. Um, that's the commutative property. Another property is the associative property, which means you can take it like a chunk of numbers strung in a row and you can associate whatever ones you want together um, doesn't matter what order you add things into. Like seven plus three plus 10 is the same thing as seven plus 10 plus three. Who cares, right? But the thing is though, if you see seven plus 10 plus three, or you know something like that, it might be easier for you to go, wait a minute, I recognize that three plus seven, that's 10. 10 plus 10, 20, let's do it that way, it's quicker. So that's what we're looking at. So if you had something like this, oh, if it was, you know, um, oh, I don't know, two times, um, five times three, I mean, you know, the answer is gonna be 10 times three, 30. But you could go like this, you could go, oh, okay, the answer, oh, it's gonna be 10 times three, 30. Or you could also go, forget that, you know, uh, five times three is 15 times, oh, that's 30 as well. So it doesn't matter what order you do these things. Okay, the reflexive property, A, you will not be surprised to learn, is A. We'll talk more about that later. Okay, the symmetric property, if A is B, then B is A, enough said. Okay, the transitive property, if A is the same thing as B, and B is the same thing as C, then A is the same thing as C. That's the transitive property, okay? So they'll do things like this to you. Use the commutative and associative properties to simplify this. Well, you look at this and you go, blech, um, ugh. I could either st you know, st stack these up four deep and add them, or I could look at this and go, wait a minute, okay, let's see, 87, wait a minute, 87 plus 13, let me, let me go with those, okay. And then you go, oh, 49 plus 51, let's put it in that order. It doesn't matter what, what order you do stuff in. And look at this. What's 87 plus 13? 100. What's 49 plus 51? 100. 100 plus 100? 200. Yep. That's it. So that's the commutative and associated properties. Okay. All right, on page 273, there is only one problem. Pause it and do it. Okay, what they want you to do is look at this like this. 5 times 25 times 20 times 4. Now, if you were just to, just to go, you know, go left to right, you'd have a kind of a mess with this. But if you look at this and you, you clump stuff together, it's way easier to do. You might even look at this and go, wait a minute, wait a minute. 25 times 4, that's 100. I know that part. Okay. Then you go, oh, wait a minute. 5 times 20, oh, that's also 100. 100 times 100, well, 1 times 1 is 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, zeros. oop, 10,000. Probably a lot easier than going, oh, five times 25 is 125. 20 times four is 80. Here, let me go ahead and do this 125 times e of that. You know, just do it the easier way. That's a rule, by the way, that'll work with chemistry, biology, any other stuff that you're doing. So don't just like, just go, uh, there's a bunch of numbers. I must go from right, left to right. You know, just be look at it and see if you can, you know, clump some of these things together to make it way easier on yourself to do. You might save yourself some time and sanity. Okay. All right. See you guys next time.